Hey Scorpio, what we're doing your love read. This is for anyone sun, moon, rising, and Venus in the sign of Scorpio, and as always, a general read. So Scorpio, last week I did a reading about this person wanting to come home um, and really regret what they did. And I, you know, for a lot of you, you're not with it. So I still am feeling this energy here and picking that I'm picking up here. So I still feel like you guys are not with it. So this person wants to redeem themselves. <laughs> so it's, it's, wow, I knew it. You're, release your ex. I, Scorpio, I don't think you're with it. I, a lot of, a lot of you are not with it. So this is very, this is like a storyline that I feel will expand to the fall. You know, maybe some of you have children together. Yeah, guides, let your friends help you. I feel like your guides are guiding you through this process. And yeah, we have separation again. Religious factor to me, anytime this comes in is because of transformation here. And really, um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like this is a spiritual path and you have to trust. So a lot of you are kind of going within. You're trusting your intuition about what's happening. You're letting the separation happen because I feel like a lot of you are feeling this energy of feeling better, you know, and it's almost like it's becoming with this space is becoming harder and harder to go back to the old. So a lot of you are pretty much done, but your person's not, um, your person's not done with you is, is what I'm feeling here. So let's see what spirit has for you here. Let's see what guidance, because this reading is going to serve as a guidance here. Um, and just intuitive nudge, you know, time to reflect, most importantly. There's a lot, if you're going through a, a spiritual path, and that's just kind of a cleansing. Yeah, chariot would be that. This is the child of mother and father, which is the emperor and the empress. And this is usually when we we go through this path, this is a path number seven. Spiritual paths are the number seven. We're determined to show up in our for our lives differently. Suffering in silence, nine of swords. Your person is definitely suffering in silence, but also you're processing hope. Yeah, they're hopeful. The star, they want to heal the situation. And this chakras are very, very big in the readings right now. So, um, if you guys look at any of my other signs, you'll see a lot of the chakras, which these cards have not come out in a lot of, in my reads in a very while. So I think a lot of people are realigning their spirit. We have foundation. A lot of you, this is a marriage. This is the four of wands. So they want to come home and heart chakra and crown chakra. So to me, the spiritual path is a healing. Some of you, I don't think your heart and your crown. So basic, basically your heart and your mind is shifting and a lot of you won't feel the same and is why i'm saying this separation this time is making you feel much better about where you're at and the thoughts of going back to the old is feeling less and less um interesting i guess you know less and less fulfilling too so you're in front of this nine of cups and i feel this person's probably this is like a cord cutting too because maybe this person's feeling your distance they know that you're feeling better um about the separation you know maybe they thought that you would have it would have taken you longer to get over it or something like that and it's triggering them so give me more on this nine of swords why the nine of swords knight of cups king of wands so this person you guys could be dealing with a fire sign Aries, leo sag but this person is definitely in their mind space and they want to come and apologize um i feel they're they're feeling a lot with this king of wands and thinking a lot about their actions in this nine of swords energy game on this king of wands like their past actions and how they were queen of wands wow Ooh, this is definitely a couple scorpio wow you guys um they're definitely thinking about you and they obviously see you as as the person their person like they don't see life without you we have three of pentacles so they want to work this out um king of wands 
Yeah, so they're thinking a lot about Seven of Wands and the Ten of Swords. They're thinking a lot about their actions and how they did not complement this relationship that led to its ending. Um, also the mental battles, all the fights, they were always on the defense, right? Very fire energy. Maybe both of you would get into this distant fiery energy and a lot of arguments, maybe even jealousy was part of this um, not effective communication. Give more the star. Two of Wands. I feel hopeful. Give more the star for sure. And judgment. Yeah. Eight of Swords. They obviously fear you not taking them back, but they're hopeful about this coming together. Deep contemplation. Lots of thoughts. Um... Scorpio, you know, you want to heal the situation. I think, you know, some of you have already received communication for them and it puts you in the space of two of wands. And I think this two of wands is because you're, you're, you're postponing any decision. You're postponing again, because of the developments that are happening here with this judgment. Again, your space is what I'm feeling. Give me more on this judgment. You're healing. You're, you feeling a little better. You're judging the situation a little different and you're seeing it different. Yeah, temperance, you need time. It was too heavy. Ten of wands in the bottom. You you need a little more time and all of you are going to be in different timeline, Scorpio, about what this time is. Some of you are very decided. Some of you just kind of need to still emotionally kind of take care of yourself right now. It's, it's just... It's not something you can straight up give them an answer yet. But I feel a lot of you are feeling these tens here. Ten of swords, ten of wands. Like pretty much very close to done, done. Right, give me more on this four of wands foundation and achievement. Ace of cups. You want this four of wands. They want to come home. I I strongly feel this person wants to come home. You have King of Cups. Scorpio, your person has awakened again and they want to make this bright. Ace of Cups, King of Cups. Some of you have met a new love. Maybe this is a new person for some of you. Let's see. Give me more of this Ace of Cups. Three of Swords. No. Well, yes. Some of you may have met a new person. So again, indicating Three of Swords can indicate the separation. So in the separation, you've dated, you've gone out. Maybe some of you have just engaging and, you know, really like someone else. Really, your heart space is elsewhere. Also, self-love. This doesn't have to be a new love. A lot of you are just, this heartache, this this pain, you know, the separation, this Three of Swords energy just caused a need for self-care and to restabilize yourself. Again, your spiritual path. Um, but also, this separation for your person is why they want to start. They want to come home. They, they don't want the separation anymore. Give me more of this Ace of Cups. Oh my God, Ace of Cups and the Tower and the Two of Cups and the Devil. Oof, this is this is a battle. I think this person is also extremely obsessed um, with making this a thing. Like they they don't want you to move on to anyone else. Scorpio, this person is very intense about you leaving them for someone else. They don't want you to go to a new connection. Uh, you know, some of you, again, maybe they found out you were dating. It's triggering their wounds and it's just really upsetting them emotionally, putting them in this nine of swords, which is why we were getting this jealous energy. Puts them a lot into these patterns of thoughts that they think about, you know, um, they're they're replaying moments and conversations and things they've done. So 
it's putting them more in this stage of i feel this devil energy is like i, I have to clarify this devil this devil energy feels like this energy of like just very self-inflicted it's like they can't get over their own you know energy of what they did give me more of this devil please page of wands yeah maybe conversations think they said also not investing so maybe um act, operating from a page of wands a page level not really pursuing you give me more of this devil two of cups Oof, this person does not want you to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Scorpio, what did you do? Like, this person, they're going to talk to you. They're, they're going to be, they're going to try to put a stop to your dating. They're going to aggressively attack this comeback. It's like a redemption. This is like a redemption here, Scorpio. Came around this heart chakra. Yeah, this is a redemption. We got Tower again with the Six of Cups. This is their focus. Nine of Wands and the High Priestess. They're wounded and they know that this is going to take a lot to build trust. Um, they're trusting their intuition here. But I'm also feeling that the more they leave you alone with this high priestess, again, they know that you're distance, right? They're, they feel your distance. You're silent here, Scorpio. I think a lot of you have been very silent about what you're processing. And maybe a lot of you are just, maybe you have kids together for some of you and you're having communication and you keep it so subtle that it puts them so much in their mind. And again, obsessively thinking that, they can't, you're not giving them enough to understand where you are emotionally. So it really has this person kind of, you know, on their toes and even more focused about coming back together and like causing more of an injury, right? Three of Pentacles in the bottom, which wanting to work this out, causing more of this, it really feels like a fear of losing you. It truly does. It's so, uh, it's in my energy, it feels aggressive. Like this need to like, it may not show for some of you. Um, give me more of this crown chakra. The heart and mind is definitely racing here with this heart and crown chakra. I knew it. Guys, heart and mind, crown chakra with the nine of swords and the king of swords. It's, it's, it's racing a lot. I also, and like I said, I do feel this person replays a lot of the things that have happened in the past. <sighs> they want their family back, Ten of Cups. Give me more of this Nine of Swords. Why the Nine of Swords? Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. This person wants their family back. There's no doubt in my mind they need their home back together. Uh, whatever you're going to do, Scorpio, it's very intense energy here. King of Pentacles. Yep. The Wheel of Fortune, and there goes that Nine of Wands. They just don't know where your mind is at and how you feel. But I, they, this person is aggressive about these thoughts. And, you know, and, and this goes both ways. I think, again, you've gone through your pain and your share of confusion. So you both probably are also in this Nine of Swords because, again, you're not giving this person enough information so that's because you're you know how to i'm feeling avert scorpio you guys know what to do you guys are the the mysteries of your energy in terms of you know how to control how much information you put out there so in this situation you're not you're not trying to give this person too much um hope 
yet because you're still resolving yourself. Um, but like I said, some of you are done, done. There's a lot of tens here where a lot of you are probably done, done, and maybe much more in the space of seeing, meeting someone new and they know that. So let's see what the triggers are here. What are the blockages? Intense Scorpio. Oof. What are the blockages? Gratitude, an attitude of gratitude will transform your paradigm. And then true love, true love will be yours. You know, a lot of you may work this out. I have to say, I don't see this being an issue of a third party. And maybe this separation is serving a purpose here. Um, that this person definitely loves you maybe not in the way you want them to love you but I, I think there was a loss of being grateful for each other something transformed in this connection because this person's gun hole about you Scorpio like where's my other deck you know spirit give me more of this true love page of Pen page of pentacles they want to start over. Give me more of this true love. And I and what I'm getting from this page of pentacles is that, yeah, queen of wands. There, there it goes. It confirms again the queen of... This is how they view you. You guys can be dealing with a fire sign again. But what I'm getting from this page of pentacles is that the investment um, felt small. That's why when we lose sight of our relationship... We're not grateful. So maybe this person was ungrateful of what was happening. Just the relationship. Just how things were. Maybe things got monotonous. You know, like very routine. Um, the investment got smaller and smaller in terms of how they were investing in the relationship. You know, maybe not feeling, making you feel desired. Um, it's like a combination of that is what it feels like. Things just kind of fall apart. Let's see what the untold message of the heart here. I, I need to know this for this sign. I normally haven't been pulling these. But let's see what the untold. Don't go. Please give up. Don't please. Oh my God. Don't go. Don't give up on me yet. I'm scared to lose you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Scorpio. This screams, I'm so scared to lose you. It's insane ego there you go a lot of fire energy here and this is a scorpio read it's easier to block everything out right now i'd rather ignore my emotions you know this person probably weren't again weren't invested in uh expressing themselves or just the investment became very small in the relationship which feels like no one was engaging it's what this feels like let's see what else they they lost they lost sense of direction here and we have yes so to me this spirit is confirming that this is not a third party situation this is a yes in terms of that this person there and things got um the investment the connection kind of just lost its way it really did so and worry we have worry i'm not sure if this is a good idea i'm overthinking everything what will everyone else think so there's a lot of worry here and they don't want to lose you so this don't go is no joke here uh don't give up on me yet i'm scared to lose you oof intense scorpio very intense oh sorry guys i just hit the camera here we go it's so close to me it's why all right what's your guidance storm even through difficulties, you can be rest assured that the storm will pass. Just go with the flow and it will be over soon. You know, this this is probably a storm in this connection and you guys will figure things out. Um, from here to fall, I think it's going to be this season. So see what season your relationship is in right now. This could be a season in the relationship as that's how relationships that have been together for a long time. They go through seasons. They go through seasons. So healing. 
I lay in I lay in a field of many flowers and become part of the landscape. Wildflowers begin to grow between the cracks of my soul and my heart blooms in beautiful unison. So I feel this is a number four. There's a lot of grounding happening here to have to heal, um, which we have the four of wands. So maybe this relationship needs this time apart to get grounded again and out of this fiery energy, maybe emotions, the ego and, and then boundaries. I think this is you here Scorpio there are boundaries here so this is going to draw the line to a new version of the relationship if you guys decide to get back with this person so set and preserve boundaries to protect yourself and your energy definitely protect your energy right now um if you don't like how this person is coming towards you you know this is definitely those boundaries are important I feel boundaries for space boundaries to not be influenced also about when and how you make your decision I do feel that Scorpio you need time and you need this healing space and I think you need to regroup and reground and you will have a, an answer for them because you're also not giving them too much information with reason so I think you know that this is a moment of pause here for you as well <coughs> Oof. I'm gonna leave it there Scorpio I love you please like share subscribe